Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Momo Kill. Short term rental plus cat sitting, May 30th to June 22nd. Here's your chance for an affordable escape in blue at its most desirable time. Sunny but not too hot. We will be traveling May 30th to June 22nd. Looking for a trustworthy person, family, or small group with references to stay in our home and take care of our two cats. Our place offers one king bedroom plus one queen bedroom, two full bathrooms, a work at home office, big deck for dining and lounging, gas barbecue, above ground pool, and a huge yard. Where is it? A quiet residential neighborhood only 5 minutes walk from all shops and services in the suburb of Blue, 20 minutes drive to the beach, 5 minute bike ride to a gorgeous creekside path, dozens of wineries within 20 minutes drive, golf, hiking, mountain biking. What are we asking you for? You pay $1,000 for the 3 week stay to cover some of our costs of insurance, electricity, etc. Look after two young cats, feed on their existing schedule, bring them inside by dark, brush them daily, scoop the cat box, keep the house standing, clean the pool, no worries about the yard garden as we have built in sprinklers, no smoking or vaping indoors, PM me for details and we will chat on the phone. That makes absolutely no sense. You want them to effectively pay you to come over and do chores in your home. I don't think that's really how it works. Even if you're offering up your place for them to stay or not, you need to offer them some money for doing the work for you. This next one is by Twas Inevitable. Theater wouldn't give me a new cup for a regulator? Title, social media told me that they get 32 ounce paper cups when you use the regulator, but they wouldn't, saying, that's just for COVID. There's no way this is sanitary. Should I push it? If you're bringing in a reusable cup, then obviously they're going to not give you a new cup. That was the whole reason you bought the reusable cup. Am I right or am I wrong? This next one is from Crab Cakes Give Me Gas. I was wondering if you could put together a Christmas lights thing at my house like yours. My daughter loves it, but Blank is 25 minutes away and I can't drive there every night so she can see the different ones. It would probably be impossible to get all the necessary parts in time for this year. Most of the vendors are out of stock and ordering direct from the manufacturer takes months. If you want to get started for next year, you'll want to start ordering in February or March. I can't do the entire show for you, but I'd be happy to help. If you give me an idea of what you're looking to do, I could get you a parts list. Blank on YouTube is also an excellent place to get the basics. I need to do it this year. Next year she will be older. Might not care then. Sorry, but I don't think it's possible. I spent months building my first year. It's a very intensive project. Even if we had all the parts, it would be difficult. I have a few strands laying around. I could do a portion of your roof line, approximately 30 feet. It wouldn't have music, but you can change colors from an app on your phone. Thanks you so much. Do you think we can have a tree too? You have so many lights that it would be that big of a difference. Why can't we have music? No, the tree is the biggest and most expensive prop in the show. It accounts for a fourth of all the pixels. Please, that's her favorite part. It's my favorite too. But you're not a child. I will buy the tree from you. If I sell it to you, then I'll have to do hours of work changing the sequences to account for the missing tree. It's literally the centerpiece of the show. It's on the side, not the center. You should look up literally. You can get a new one next Christmas and the rest will be fine this year. You have the snowflakes, presents, and the garage still. I only want one thing, so let me buy it. No, and even if I were to sell it, the parts alone cost this much. You spent that much on Christmas lights? Those color lights cost $13 on Amazon. How'd you get to here? Sends Link. So much for the Christmas spirit of giving. 
I mean, if we're talking about the Christmas spirit of giving, you've got the strong Christmas spirit of begging, so, and on top of that, they told you no and you just won't accept it, so I don't know what else they can tell you to get you to go away. This next one is by Bunny Moon Chan. Is anyone willing to help me financially obtain this beauty, as well as assisting transporting it to my place? I can't pay you back for it yet, but I will have it noted to do so once I am able. It's a pretty heavy Japanese dresser, so they don't mind haggling, but seeing as I've been financially destitute since October, I'm unwilling to get it myself, and they're moving like now. It would mean so much to me being able to have this. I have so many uses for it that it would help in my spiritual journey and trauma healing. I know that sounds weird to some, but that's the case. I'm of the mentality that if you're going on a spiritual journey or any journey of any kind, it's solely on you. It's not up to other people to fund said journey. However, if you're financially destitute, don't you think you probably shouldn't be shopping for things you really can't afford? This next one is from Carl's Bad Kitty. This lip oil is the bomb, not sticky or greasy. Definitely need to try it, ladies. You won't be disappointed. Two stars, disappointed. I bought this lip oil before, but this time I was a little disappointed. It came in a huge box wrapped up in bubble wrap. If I paid 30 plus dollars, I expect a thank you card or a little bit more effort into the packaging. I mean, considering it came bubble wrapped, that means it was most likely protected. Maybe they ran out of small boxes. Did you ever think of that? Be happy you got your product. This next one is by Coat Any1468. You're fucking annoying. You seem like a nice guy. Just fuck off. Okay, maybe that was rude. I'm sorry. I haven't seen you do a giveaway in a while, and I think more people can benefit from your generosity for this community. Your tweets are good, and I'm glad you're growing, but I'd love to win a giveaway one of these days. <laughs> You say maybe that was rude. Maybe it was because you came out just attacking them and then you talk about wanting to win a giveaway. You'll probably be disqualified from all future ones. This next one is from Adventurous Milk 785 Is this still available? Blue has offered you 30 pounds. You decline Blue's offer. I can do 45 pounds, but I'm not going to half the price I originally put it up for. I sorry, I want this to come and collect it. Can you count it as 30 pounds for me? If you accept my request, I will come and collect it today. Please. No, I'm not going to cut the price by over half. You either pay the 45 or you be on your way. I'm giving you a fair price here. It's never been used. If you agree, I will come now. I know, believe me, if I had enough money, I would not have made such a request to you. I have to pay 20 pounds round trips. I have to pay for 20 petrol. I'm sorry, but it's a no. It's a 120 pound fridge. You can either pay 45 pounds or find another for a cheaper price. Count at least 35 pounds? I'm not lowering it below 45 pounds. As I said, it's worth 120 pounds. It has everything with it. Wires, box, and the fridge itself. The only reason the box is open is the fact I wanted to test it to see if it actually works. So I'm sorry, but it's 45 pounds or no offer. Thanks. <laughs> Here's a lesson to all beggars. If you're trying to go buy an item, you're not allowed to use the round trip cost of the fuel that you need to spend to get to have the price reduced on said item. If you can't afford the fuel and the item, you don't need the item. And our final one is by Caro Jeans. So I'm an English teacher and tutor, TESOL certified, a 150 hour course. I've been doing this for 8 years and I charge $25 per hour of actual tutoring. Each session includes new notes and either practice activities or worksheets, all of which are custom made for each client. These extras take time to prepare, so I'll usually have around 30 minutes of additional work every hour of tutoring. All said and done, my hourly wage works out to about $17. Of course, and I understand that my reasonable fee is unaffordable for some people. In those cases, I'll offer the same service, 
with all of the extras for a discounted price between $15 and $20. These discounts bring my hourly take home down to about $10 to $13 an hour, but I'm happy to help people out. So obviously I'm one, a bitch for refusing to tutor this one lady's kid for $5 per one hour session. Two, a bad person for not accepting cookies as payment for tutoring a lovely couple and their two kids. Their citizenship tests were coming up and apparently it's now exclusively my fault if they fail. Three, a mean cunt for saying no to helping a man that lied on his CV, then landed a job in which he's expected to work directly with Anglophone clients. Oopsie. In exchange for unmeasurable gratitude, appreciation, and positive karma, he wanted six hours per week for three weeks. Four, the most evil person, because after three weeks of asking multiple times a week for a client's availabilities, I stopped asking and told her to just let me know when she's free for a session. Already, I was only charging her $15, and five out of the six sessions that we had were rescheduled often following a no-show. I felt like I was already doing her a favor by not charging her for the no-shows, and I thought that it was reasonable to clarify that it is her responsibility to let me know when she's available so that I can book her. Apparently, this was a cardinal sin, because her response was a very nasty message five days later. 5. A bad Christian for not wanting to tutor in exchange for the kid's parents praying for me. Guess you can't please everyone. Unfortunately, with choosing beggars, you could give them everything. You could give them everything they're asking for and they'll still find a way to be dissatisfied or to ask for more. It just seems to be the nature of the choosing beggar. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. And drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.